thank you for joining me. My name is Varni and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you Taurus for all the ways that you are helping me grow. Thank you for all of the positive energy you send my way. Okay, there we have it. Taurus, I'm going to dive right into today's tattle. Okay, and your first card out, hyperfocus. Now this is already sitting in your fears, Taurus. What this focus is going to be all about. Now Taurus, this might be something that is attached to your pentacle world, your finances, your stability. Wow. Fearing the focus that is required with the energy of the emperor. Now Taurus, we are talking about someone who has the desire to build a better world. This is someone who embodies all of the kings. This is the focus that is required by the emperor in order to balance his energy in enough in order to be able to strategize perhaps well let's have a look this is something that you're working on Taurus hoping to have the roadmap to where it is you are going focusing on all of the energy that has been gifted to you in order to put some kind of structure in place. Now this is something you are putting all of your time and energy into. Taurus, this might be something you are working on late at night. Some kind of strategy. Now with your fears, this is a transformation, Taurus. The end of one way of being and an entirely new beginning a new dawn approaches Taurus fearing how it is going to affect your soul family Taurus with the three of cups this could be a celebration this is soul family the people you spend your time with this could be co-workers Taurus this could be friends this could be actual family. Now what you should know, Taurus, is that during this process of having all of your attention being diverted, is that you are going to be balancing your Queen of Cups energy. Now we could be talking about an energy that is in your sphere, someone who senses what others require and goes about providing it. This is someone who trusts her intuition in order to navigate the physical world, Taurus. With the Queen of Cups, we could be talking about a water a sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Well, Taurus, in your hidden position are sleepless nights, now maybe it sits in your hidden position because this is something that you are not letting on about. But Taurus, this is a part of how you are building your strategy or whatever it is, your roadmap. It is the time that you should be sleeping is when you are creating. Now Taurus, you sit as the star in your current environment. This is healing. This is an energy of hope, an energy of inspiration. This is the light at the other side of the tunnel, Taurus. This is catching that one brilliant star because of your focus, Taurus. With the Five of Pentacles, this may have you feeling some sense of lack, Taurus. And it is there to divert your energy. 
what you need to do in this time is to ensure that you are focusing exactly where you need to focus. Now the reason you feel this lack, Taurus, this could be finances. This is having the lack serve as your foundation of what it is you are working on, whatever it is you are creating. And it's because of some kind of boredom, Taurus, maybe feeling demotivated in some way, discontent. Now the transformation that happens in your current environment, Taurus, with the Queen of Swords, talks about a transformation related to how you communicate. The Queen of Swords is someone who speaks from a wisdom that was forged in life experience, someone who's able to use the intellect in order to shape the world and how she sees it. Wow, Taurus, with the Queen of Wands, this is using the wisdom that you have gained. Looking at it from a completely different perspective, Taurus, in order to Create with the Queen of Wands, we're talking about someone who's at her creative peak, someone who's fearless, someone who trusts her intuition, Taurus. Now, this sits in your physical environment. Wow, Taurus, what you should know with the lovers is that you may have a choice to make. With the lovers, we are talking about going within, understanding yourself enough, Taurus, that you are both good and bad, balancing your emotion enough to be able to extend your cup of love. Now this is something that is on your soul path, Taurus, something that is truly significant. Now with the star, we could be referring to an Aquarius. With the Six of Swords, those sleepless nights, Taurus, is what's going to allow you to go to a calmer space in your mind. Now this is what's required for your soul path. So you will find yourself finding that oasis. Now what has brought you here, Taurus, was a choice. This was an emotional choice. This was a choice you faced without knowing what the outcome was going to be, what each choice represented. Now, Taurus, with fate and destiny, you can never make the wrong choice. This was a choice that was a very difficult one, Taurus. Something that leaves you feeling as though you don't have enough. With the Five of Pentacles, this might be affecting your Pentacle world. Some kind of move, something where you packed up all your bags and headed off on a journey. The energy taking you into the future, Taurus, is that Ace of Wands, the one we've seen coming out. Something that's going to bring you recognition It talks about very fast communication with the with the night of air. We're talking about being action oriented. This is quick decisions. This is the drive to pursue truth with determination. This could be the spoken word delivered very quickly to us. With temperance, this is finding the balance after that message is delivered. Trying to balance the, the good and the bad. Maybe from within you. 
With temperance, we, we could be referring to a Sagittarius. Touching the Queen of Wands, we are talking about very creative energy, Taurus. Now, what you should know, wow, here's that Eight of Wands, back and forth communication. Now, this is communication over the airwaves. It talks about fast movement letters, emails, social media. This talks about exciting times, Taurus. Wow, a celebration with the Four of Wands. Being able to find that karma space in your mind allows for your foundations with the Four of Wands. We are talking about a sense of belonging. Now we could be talking about a sacred soulmate connection, Taurus communication between lovers, two people that could not escape being on each other's path. Now, the outcome, Taurus, wow, that choice led you directly to happy home, happy family with the Ten of Cups. This is divine love, blissful relationships. Wow, Taurus. And with the hermit, allowing time for introspection. Now, Taurus, this might be you having the time, having the time to go within in order to come up with whatever it is you are strategizing on. Keeping your focus on what it is you are working on, Taurus. The energy that, balancing, that balances you is the closing out of your cycle. Something that starts off as a brand new creative beginning allows your cycle to change completely, Taurus. Courting life with the nine Knight of Cups. This is deciding where to put your energy. This is the pursuit of love, of beauty, this is following your heart's desire, Taurus, very quickly. As regards to some kind of creative endeavor, something you have put out there, something you had to find the balance with, Taurus. Now what you should know, wow, this is what leads to that new beginning in terms of your finances. This is what's going to bring in reciprocity, Taurus. The feelings that you have that make you feel as though you are out in the cold change completely. And with justice, here is that balancing. Now, Taurus, we could be talking about something in the legal system, something that relates to a home, a contract, something that allows the balancing of the scales, looking at it as though it, it represents fairness in your life. With the Nine of Wands, Taurus, this tells me that you are busy on something creative, something where you feel as though you are being protected. But Taurus, aside from feeling protective and protected, you feel as though you have been hurt in some way. Know that you have the space to do whatever it is you need to do. The energy allowing you to create whatever it is you want to create. I hope you've enjoyed this Tattle Taurus. Until your next one, bye for now.